This past week, Americans everywhere celebrated Thanksgiving. But once the turkey and stuffing were devoured, many skipped the comforts of their beds at home for the chilly sidewalks outside of stores. It's 3.30 a.m., 44 degrees, and I'm standing outside Circuit City. You may be asking yourself why. Well, for the same reason all these people are. It's Black Friday. Right after dinner around 6 o'clock, we came out here. We got everybody together and been, here, been out here since 8 o'clock. This was the scene outside of Best Buy in Woodland Hills, where the line went more than two blocks away from the store. A brand new laptop for $300? A 50-inch plasma TV for $700? How about a new digital camera for 75 bucks? These were just some of the amazing deals which attracted shoppers to wait in enormously long lines. While the lines may look calm, the true frenzy began once the clocks hit six. So I, a lot of pushing, a lot of pushing. I'm, I pushed myself, you know, I was pushing a lot of people and uh, Next thing you know, this guy flips out, turns around, but I'll punch this guy, you know? People just shoving each other, people like, no shoving, you know, no shoving. And then once you got towards the front of the line, people are just getting crazy. People are saying, oh, my, my leg, my leg, my leg. And then some guy almost assaulted another guy. Some violent people out there. Violent scenes like this one broke out throughout the Southland. But not everyone's shopping experience was quite as traumatic. People wanting to escape the chaos of the doorbuster sales were able to find a much more subdued shopping experience on the 3rd Street Promenade. In the end, Black Friday isn't about the sales or the chaos, but about the experience of it all. It's, you know, it's one of those once a, once a year thing, you know, you don't, I wouldn't do this every day, you know, sleeping on the streets, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, just with a bunch of friends, it was a, it was a good time. I mean, it, it wasn't worth it for the sales, but it was worth it just to be with your friends, you know, it was pretty chill. If you miss Black Friday this year, don't worry, because it's never too early to start getting in line for next year. Reporting on Black Friday, I'm Noah Reich for DBTV.